All right, what's up guys? It is November 10th. It is Jer's birthday today. So he's working because he like isn't capable of taking a day off. Um, so I am making a cake and meatloaf and potatoes because that's what he wanted for his birthday dinner. Uh, yeah, so I will take you along through some cooking of that and hopefully it is super fun because I'm gonna have a good time because I love baking cakes. All right, so I've never made this recipe before. It's called a spice cake. Um, so this is just like butter and raisins and sugar and I'm gonna add some spices to it and I'm gonna melt this and then make the cakey bits. But yeah, this is a different recipe. I'm kind of excited to see how it turns out. It sounds super yummy. I made a cake with this in it, but apparently I'm to fold in, what do you mean fold it in? Just fold it in. Uh, fold in the whipped egg whites. So we shall see how this turns out. One thing that is definitely like key in baking that I found is like for sure properly prep your cake pans. Um, this is like slightly more flour than I probably need, but I always like butter and then flour the pans because sometimes like the butter just isn't going to be enough and the flour definitely helps with the release so you don't get a uh, crumbly stuck mess. They're in the oven for like 25 to 30 minutes and we'll see how this goes. All right, and so this is why you prep those pans like this. No sticky cakes. All right, here is the cake, all completed and decorated. It's got like a cream cheese frosting on it, just like a basic one, decorated with some chopped pecans. So I'll let you know how delicious this is after dinner. And good morning. It is now very early on Sun. It's Thursday, not Sunday. My weekends are confusing because they're in the middle of the week and I never know what day it is. Um, I didn't vlog the rest of yesterday of making dinner or anything like that because I'm terrible making content and I forgot and we just had a beautiful dinner and hung out and it was lovely. Had some blueberry wine that I brought at Kraus last summer. It was really nice. Um, so today my mom and I are going to go and run around and buy a whole bunch of decorating tools and then me, my mom, and my grandmother are going to make sugar cookies and practice making royal icing decorations for Christmas, like those really fancy ones you see. So um, I'm sure they're not going to be like the best cookies ever, but I am excited to try them out. So yeah, I will attempt to remember to vlog some of that today. And I think this is just gonna be like a very foodie vlog this week. Icing was gross, cookies were gross. They were in fact shit. cookies were actually a lot better. Um, we definitely do still need to work on our icing, obviously, but we are going to attempt that again on Friday this week. But yeah, they are looking a lot nicer. Where are you going? <laughs> I'll 
also a quick update on the kitchen scenario. We did get the table that we wanted, which I'm super happy with. It just kind of comes out like this and becomes an actual table. It does do that on both sides. If we feel so inclined, please ignore all my recycling. And then we got this lovely shelf for our dehydrator and some other things. So yeah, this space in the house is coming together and hopefully in the next week or two, we will get the office done. All right, so that's pretty much everything I had for you this week. It was like a very food intensive. Um, I did end up having to take Mr. Darcy to the vet. Um, he has a weird bump on his chin and one on his shoulder. Um, they couldn't biopsy the one on his chin. It was a bit too small, but the one on his shoulder is a benign mast cell tumor. So he is going to have to go in and have that cut off. Um, but they said it's not like a super intense surgery. So he is going to be sedated as opposed to completely put under, which I think is a little bit better. Uh, so hopefully he will only be in there for a few hours and then he can come home and wear his little cone of shame. Uh, my next video is going to be of me decorating my house for Christmas. I'm very much resisting the urge to do that today. Um, I really wanted to get this vlog up for you. I did have one that was like Halloween themed and it was partially edited. Um, I just wasn't really super happy with what I had. It wasn't, I just wasn't, I didn't like it. So I didn't want to put up a crappy video. I figured it would be better to have a couple weeks in between than to put out a video that sucked. So there you go. Hopefully you are ready for some Christmas content because that is what's coming up. I keep thinking that I'm going to do sort of more like planned out content where I make some more points. I think I'm going to save more of that stuff for the blog. Um, I do enjoy making these vlogs a lot more. I find it's a little bit easier to kind of break down my thoughts and have a nice time showing you guys what I've been doing and the kind of stuff that I get up to. And then I'll save the blog space for more serious topics. I'm gonna have one that I'm working on right now that should come out this weekend sometime about the absolute nonsense that was the Glasgow conference. But I'm trying to just sort of organize my thoughts on that because it was like, just very disappointing, but that should be up this weekend sometime. And I will keep you guys posted on what's going on with Mr. Darcy. For those of you that care, um, he is my baby. So it is a little bit stressful to be sort of going through all this, but the vet we found here is absolutely amazing. They were so kind to him. They got down, they were playing with him on the floor and making all these cracks about how he is a gentleman after all, because his name is Mr. Darcy and I'm a big nerd. So yeah, hope you enjoyed that one. I will have more cookie content for you coming up because these are now an obsession that I must perfect. Uh, yeah, I will catch you in the next one where I make Christmas vomit on my house. <laughs>